Happy National Indigenous Peoples Day to everyone here and everyone watching from coast to coast to coast. I have to thank First Nations, Inuit, and Métis partners for working with us over the past few years to make meaningful progress on our shared journey towards reconciliation. The road is long, but rest assured, we can and will walk it together. And on that note, today is a very big day for both reconciliation and environmental protection in Canada. Today, we celebrate Canada's first ever Reconciliation Framework Agreement for Bioregional Oceans Management and Protection, which involves 14 First Nations along the Pacific Coast. This is an important commitment to regional partnership in the task of ocean management. But before I get into the details, let's talk a bit about how we got here. It was in November 2016 that I announced a major government initiative that will serve the people of Canada for generations. A plan to safeguard the natural beauty of our great country. I'm talking, of course, about the Oceans Protection Plan, a $1.5 billion investment in ocean conservation, responsible shipping, and marine safety. Providing jobs for people today while protecting our coasts and waterways for generations to come, well, the Oceans Protection Plan is truly world-leading. Et, il y a à peine deux semaines, les autres dirigeants du G7 et moi nous sommes engagés à assurer la propreté, la santé et la sécurité de nos océans. Grâce au plan d'action de Charlevoix pour la santé des océans et des mers et des communautés côtières résilientes, le Canada a adopté des processus de planification de l'espace maritime afin d'offrir plus de certitude aux entreprises du secteur océanique tout en protégeant les écosystèmes de nos océans et de nos communautés. Et nous allons continuer de donner suite à notre engagement qui consiste à établir des aires marines protégées en combiné, combinant les meilleures données scientifiques de la planète aux vastes connaissances des Autochtones. My friends, when we announced our Oceans Protection Plan a year and a half ago, we envisioned Indigenous peoples participating as trusted partners and guides in managing Canada's oceans. And as we implement the Oceans Protection Plan and the Ocean Blueprint commitments, I know we could not have better partners than the people gathered here today. The First Nations of this region have long been leaders in defining what collaborative management looks like in protected areas and in working landscapes on land and at sea. Today is an important next step in our stewardship journey. After much hard work and excellent dialogue, I'm happy to be here to celebrate the Reconciliation Framework Agreement on Bioregional Oceans Management and Protection. With 14 First Nations, the Framework Agreement outlines how we'll engage on a nation-to-nation -nation basis going forward as we develop the policies and practices that will guide us in managing these waters which span about two-thirds of the BC coast. Together, we'll coordinate efforts on marine spatial planning and develop a network of marine protected areas. Our work will improve waterway management increase emergency preparedness, and boost the response capacity of local First Nations. A blueprint for the future, this agreement will help us ensure that consultation, planning, and decision-making is collaborative in nature and clear in process. Ensemble, nous allons protéger et préserver la côte nord du Pacifique et, en cours de route, nous ferons avancer la réconciliation. Notre gouvernement prend la responsabilité environnementale au sérieux. Qu'il s'agisse de tarifier la pollution causée par le carbone, de protéger les populations de mammifères marins en voie de disparition ou d'assurer la protection permanente de plus grandes étendues d'eau côtière, nous comprenons que le Canada doit mener la charge. We also understand that the ocean represents not only an economic engine for First Nations, 
but indeed a way of life. The species that live here in one of the most ecologically significant regions in the world must be protected. The orca must be safeguarded. Salmon populations must be allowed to flourish. We have work to do here, work that cannot be ignored. These animals are integral to the culture and well-being of the families and workers who call this region home. The First Nations of the Pacific North, North Coast have been protecting Canada's waters for millennia. And that's why our shared success in the fight to protect our ocean hinges on us all working together. The Reconciliation Framework Agreement will help us deliver on the promise of collaborative ocean management for the benefit of all Canadians. And I'm especially pleased to note that we were able to come together to celebrate on National Indigenous Peoples Day, a day that matters to each and every Canadian citizen as we walk the long path of reconciliation together. What we have demonstrated here today is that we understand that the best way to protect our coasts, our natural world, for generations to come is to do it hand in hand with people who have been protecting these coasts for millennia. That environmental protection, economic development and reconciliation need to be fundamentally linked. And today we take a massive step forward in doing just that, in true partnership with First Peoples.